Good morning guys! So today I am doing a little bit different video. I'm doing a vlog video for you guys and I thought I would take you guys to work with me today and do a little kind of what I do at work and a little behind the scenes and different things like that. So um, I just got to work and I need to go in and turn on all the lights and get ready for the day. Today is a little bit of a shorter day as far as clients. I only have two clients today and then after that I actually need to, I'm hoping to film a video and then I'm also hoping to work on a project that I will tell you a little bit more about when I get there but um, I definitely need to work on that project and get that finished and then I um, am also hoping to film at least one video so I actually like I think some people wonder if I have some sort of like schedule that I like film my videos on and I don't I do not have any schedule and I pretty much just film when I'm at work and it like works out in that day that like either somebody canceled or I have ended up with a little bit of a shorter day. Those are the times that I used to film. So I probably should get better <clears throat> about like planning those things on a schedule. But for now, it's just too crazy. And so it's just like I just use whatever time I have in the salon or I'll stay late or I'll come in on a day off to film stuff. So yeah so that's what i'm doing today so two clients and then i'm gonna be working on some other stuff in the afternoon so just got to work let's go ahead and go inside and let's get ready for the day Okay, I have got everything set up for my first client of the day and I'll show you guys um, kind of what I do. So I first make sure and put my little filter. I just use a um, paper towel for the dust collector filter. I got my gloves and my file, my brush. I've got my bits right here that I'm gonna use and I'm ready to go. And then I've got my apron to put on um, before that. And then I also have my mask to make sure and put that on before my client gets here. I am going to be the only one here today, so I don't, sometimes I take my mask off during the day, like, since I'm the only one here, and then I always make sure and put it on before somebody comes in. But yeah, and if you guys saw my last nail station tour, um, I was actually out here previously. I was over here. And then recently, the past maybe two weeks or so, I have moved in here now. So I now have my own little room. So this is kind of what it looks like. I would say the nail station tour still applies because everything's pretty much the same as far as like the furniture and stuff. I do have this cabinet now in here, which just is holding like my extra back stock of like disinfectant wipes and isopropyl alcohol and acetone and all that stuff as well as like some filming supplies and some kind of back stock of products so that's what the what's in this cabinet but everything else is the same as my previous nail station tour um my newest addition in this room is this tv actually and it has been so nice i need to get it turned on um it's been so nice because my clients can sit here and watch the tv while i'm doing their nails and it kind of takes a little bit of pressure off of me to try and think of what to talk about or things like that like we can kind of just chill and watch tv and it almost i feel like it makes me a little bit faster because i'm not trying to talk and have as much conversations as i normally do so it kind of gives me gives my clients something to watch and kind of like space out so i usually do like hulu or netflix or something like that so 
I'm gonna get that started as well, get that turned on. Um, these back here are the cord covers from Home Depot that I use on my polish racks to create this back tier. And I got an extra polish rack, so I need to put one of those cord covers on this one. So there's no tier, there's no second like level tier on this one yet, so I need to do that as well. So they're just hanging out back there. And I got this Amazon package and a couple other things from Amazon that I need to open and put away. So I got some stuff to do today. And I'll just give you guys a little, show you guys what I have on today. I decided to dress up a little bit because I knew that I was gonna do some filming today, but um, some, this shirt is like a, I don't know if you can see it very well, but it's like a velvet kind of patterned floral patterned shirt and it's super cute it's from i just got it from banana republic online so that's nice and then just jeans and little booties so i usually keep it pretty comfortable i don't usually dress up like crazy um for work because i'm usually just sitting anyways and everything gets dusty and everything gets all you know gross so i don't usually go full on like dressing up but just this cute little shirt so I think I'm all ready now for my first client. So I'm gonna, um, I'll kind of show you my first and second client, like their first, like the before and the after of their nails. And then we'll do some fun stuff this afternoon. Okay, I just finished my first client and we did some stamping and I need to clean up everything now and disinfect and sanitize the desk and the chair and the lamps and everything before my next client comes in. And I need to put everything away. I think I've got some stamping polishes out and stamping plate and stuff. So I need to clean up everything and get ready for my next client who should be here in about 15 minutes or so. So I got some time to clean everything up and get everything disinfected and ready to go. Okay, I just finished my second client and we used this glitter gel from Light Elegance, which is called Oopsie Daisy. And it's kind of like, um, almost like a white gold, I would say. It's like not silver, but it's not gold. Like it's somewhere in the middle. So that one's really pretty. So we used that on all of her nails and now I have to clean all this stuff up again and do the whole disinfectant process again and I gotta throw away like the file and these wipes and I gotta throw this away. So, and I gotta put these back. I did put this underneath of the glitter, which is the Accent Gel Play Glistening Gold, which is their, it's like the Accent Gel Paint. That's what their gel paint, the, the Gel Play line from Accents is their gel paint. And so this one is glistening gold. It's like a champagne gold. So I ended up, I put this underneath of the glitter so that the glitter would look a little bit more full coverage. And I think it turned out really pretty. So I, I am gonna need another one of these soon because seriously, these like gel play 
um, metallic colors. I like they I would say are in like my yearly staple must have products because you can layer them underneath of glitters if you want a like full coverage glitter or you can do art with them different things like that so uh this must have at all times and then this one again is oopsie daisy so i'm just gonna clean this up now we were watching some food tv shows and yeah so i'm gonna clean up and then i need to eat lunch and then i'm gonna start doing working on some of the other projects that i have that i need to get done today okay i've got everything cleaned up and wiped down and i used my favorite i know i've talked about these in past videos the rejuvenate disinfectant wipes they kill everything and they're skin safe environmental safe and they only need 60 seconds to kill everything so that's nice so i used those and i ate my lunch which was just some leftover chili so it didn't look that um didn't look that great but it tasted good <laughs> um now i'm gonna work on some of the project that i am gonna tell you guys about and i also started watching um the latest episode of the bachelorette <laughs> while I ate my lunch. Okay, before I work on the project, let's open up my Amazon package here. If you saw one of my, I believe it was a haul video, um, I talked about these in that video. They're little lipstick organizer trays and I got them for my magpie pigments and glitters and stuff. And I actually, I have two of them and I've run out of room already. I have some more. So I grabbed two more of these. This is what it looks like when they're all full. So it's these like little uh, magpie containers. These are like their chromes and pigments and stuff. And they fit perfectly in these little lipstick organizers. So I have two of these full. And then I have a whole bunch of little, um, like they're chunky glitters. They put them in these containers as well. So I have a whole bunch of their chunky glitters and I needed uh, at least two more of these so that I can put those in the organizers as well. So I've got two of these. This is my second one. I love it because it's like a rainbow order. It's like so beautiful. But it has all their chromes and then foils. And then this one has chromes and like flakes and stuff like that. So I have a whole bunch of, of their chunky shape glitters that now need a home. So that's what I got those for. And then I also got on Amazon, I also got these, which are styptic sticks. And they are made for like if you are shaving or if like a barber is like doing your hair or shaving or whatever and they cut you it's actually made to stop the bleeding so i got these i saw um sierra's nails i saw her feature them or i saw her talk about them and i was like i have to try that because what it what i got it for is because i'm not going to pretend that I never ever cut someone. It does happen. I'm human, you know, the nippers are really sharp and sometimes it does happen where I cut someone. I've had a couple times and it drives me crazy when I do this. If I don't, if I forget to edge the file, the nail file, and it's got a sharp edge on it, sometimes I will cut somebody that way too. And I try really, really hard not to do that. It drives me crazy when I do that because I just feel like, oh, it's just, I hate, I don't want to cut people. It's annoying. So I did get these. I think this pack was only $3. So this was also from Amazon and it's 20 sticks and they look like these little match sticks. And on the end, that is where the kind of, I don't even know what you would call it. Like the ointment, I guess is what you could call it. That's where that is. And so you put that part of this little match stick looking thing, you put that on the cut and it stops the bleeding so i got this little pack just in case because it's it'll be good to have and these ones especially say they will not sting 
because I know like my husband said usually like when he's tried them for like shaving his face they sting so this one says will not sting and it stops the bleeding fast ideal for razor nicks and minor cuts this and then they're disposable so you just use the one and then you just toss it so that's from Amazon also so I gotta find a home for this as well and then a couple more things that I got that I'm just bringing in is I got two of the antibacterial liquid hand soap and I use this to scrub my implements and wash them before I put them in the disinfectant so just got a couple hand soaps that I brought in today just because I know I'm almost out of my other one okay for the project now that I need to get working on um, I'm actually making some press-on nails which I never ever thought or planned to make press on nails that was never part of my plan i know a lot of people started making them once like shutdowns were happening i never really wanted to go into it because i just felt like there would be a lot of problems as far as clients not measuring their nails properly or they don't like them or doesn't fit you send them to you send do all the work of sending the nails to them and then they don't fit right or something like that However, I have watched other people do the press on nails now for a while and I have feel like I've kind of watched everyone else's trial and error and I've kind of like figured out what works and doesn't work. So going into that, again, I still don't plan on making press on nails. However, I had one person ask me for them and I am like a huge fan of hers. So I couldn't say no, of course. So um i am gonna make i did post a picture of this my client's nails that i did this design on but this is like one of my favorite masks that i have and if you love disney then you would probably like it too because it's a disney mask and it's all fantasy land disneyland themed so you have the castle and the Pinocchio's whale and the uh, Peter Pan's ship and Dumbo and the teacups super cute so I did a set of nails inspired by this design that is front made by a girl she owns her own uh, company called grape soda company and she designed this mask I also have the same design her stickers on my hydro flask so I love her chef. It's so adorable. So she asked if I would make her a set of nails since I did them on my client the same pattern. So basically the design based off of her design. And of course I couldn't say no. So I am need to work on that and I'm hoping to get them sent out this weekend. I'm only waiting on one more thing of the packaging, but I'll show you guys kind of how I'm gonna package them. So I'm gonna include this Cuccio. This is a manicure kit. So it comes with the nail file, a buffer, and a orange wood stick. So it's kind of like everything that you would need to do like a little manicure at home. So I'm including one of those, as well as a nail glue. This one is from IBD. This is professional nail glue. So I'm including one of these as well so they can attach their nails, the press on nails to their nails. So a glue. Oh, I grabbed some of these alcohol pad. These are like 70% isopropyl alcohol in little wipes. So I'm including those so that they don't have to worry about having isopropyl alcohol. They'll just have a little alcohol pad that they can use. Okay, it took me a minute to find them. So I'm including the glue and I'm also including, these are little like glue tabs. So these would not last as long as if you were gonna use the regular glue. However, this is gonna be great if somebody just wants them for photos or an event or something. They can use these to stick the nails on. They'd only last like one to two days. But if you're only wanting them for like a specific event, you could use these to attach them and then at the end of the day you can just pop them right off really easily and then 
you can reuse them again. So I'm gonna include the glue and the little nail tab glue, nail glue tabs for like more temporary wear. And this is the little bag that I am gonna put them in. So it's a really fun little holographic bag. And the only thing I'm waiting on still is the card that's gonna sit in this bag. So I'm using double-sided sticky tape, like really heavy duty double-sided sticky tape. And then I'll have a card that fits in here that the tape will be on and the nails will stick onto that. So that's how I'm gonna package them. So I got all the stuff to do it. I, you know, I may consider doing them if we get another lockdown or something, just because uh, it's just really hard right now because I don't honestly have a lot of extra time because I bought all this stuff and then I realized like I don't have the time to start doing this other whole nother part of my business like if I wasn't working on clients right now then yeah I could totally do it but it's just too much so I'm doing them for her as like a special thing for her and then maybe in the future maybe one day I will do them like more regularly but for now I'm just one person for now so yeah so that's everything that would be included in the kit and I think that's it and then another card with like instructions and I don't think I, I wrote everything down as far as like what I am going to include so I need to start working on those nails so what I had her do is I actually sent her one of each nail and then she was able to kind of put them on her natural nails and tell me which numbers or which sizes fit best on what nail because I've seen people telling people like to measure their nails and they can people it's just too difficult and then you end up sending them and making them whole set and it doesn't fit them so it's a lot easier if you just have them do like a sizing kit where they order one of every nail you send it to them then they can actually try them on and tell you which sizes actually fit their nails as far as the tips i'm gonna use the opre gel x extension these are the natural ones so they cannot be i think the other ones are called their sculpted line it has to be the natural because the sculpted line have too much of an apex and they do not fit someone's natural nails like they'll be too high so the natural ones are a little bit flatter so they'll fit more snug up into their natural nail so I'm going, we're doing the Gel X natural and we're doing the short round. So I need to look up what sizes she sent me that she is. And then I need to start working on those nails because I don't know in the next couple weeks when else I'll be able to do it. So I'm going to take advantage of this extra time that I have right now and work on these. And again, I'm doing this design and they're going to be so cute. This is like the one nice thing also about having a TV in here is like I can watch it for myself if no one else is in here and it's just me, why not? I've got like the basic designs down on the nail now and I'm gonna start um, kind of drawing on the outlines and a little um, secret that I'm gonna tell you guys about and I don't know if 
any of you saw this is the uh, completed design like with the outlines actually these ink pens you can use on nails Sigma, uh, micron pens and you can actually draw you on the nails like I make sure and do a matte top coat first but then you can use these pens and actually draw so it kind of gives it more of that like sketchy kind of a sketch like art look if that makes sense so I need to matte top coat all of these and then I'm going to do all of the outlines Okay, you guys, it is almost 6.15 now, and I just finished the nails. So this is what I did. So they're based again off that mask, and you can see like we have the little small world clock and the Mickey Mouse balloons and the teacups, and they're super cute. And then I decided to make her like some, another gold set and she could always mix and match these with those or wear just the gold on their own. So they're just about done. They're coming out of the lamp right now. And I know I said this morning that I was gonna try and film a video also for YouTube. However, however, it is now 6.15 and I'm tired. So I don't think it's going to happen. I think um, this is all that's going to happen. So I got, I'm happy I got the press on nails finished. So all I have to do now is wait on that, um, the last thing I need for my packaging and then I can just ship them off. So they turned out really cute. I hope, um, that she likes them so I am glad that I got that done because that was the most important thing for me to get done because somebody's waiting for them somebody ordered them so that was number one thing on my list today to do besides my two clients today so the video will just have to wait because I am just exhausted and in case anyone is wondering um, these little nail stands you can buy them from magpie I know magpie has them um also if you just search like nail tip stands on amazon you can find them and this is actually a metal nail file where you would stick on the uh like you would stick on like the grit of file that you want and then you just peel it off after each person but that's what this is so these things i can stick them to this and then use them like all at once and it's from magpie this is the one of their metal reusable nail files so that's what i've been using so i just stick the nails put some blue tack on there stick the nails on and then i can put this actually i can put this whole thing like in the lamp at once so it's kind of nice in that way so i have all my little nails they're so cute i hope that she enjoys them i love gold so and i asked her if she likes gold silver or rose gold and she chose gold so i wanted to give her a second set of just gold glitter nails and then she can wear them on her on their own or mix and match with these ones so i think that'll be really cute so besides that everything's pretty i got some garbage everything's pretty cleaned up i tried to clean up a little bit um i need to toss that in the garbage and i was digging around in there so i need to 
Um, there's my leftovers container, so <laughs> gotta take that home. And I need to put the press-ons away, so I need to find a, find a place that I can put them where they're not gonna get all messed up before. I should have the packaging by Friday, and then I can ship them off this week, so that's all I have left to do. I'm definitely gonna go home after this. There's no way I can do another thing that can take me another hour or longer, so. So let's get cleaned up. Okay, everything's cleaned up and I've got all of my tools I wanted to show you guys. Um, these are the tools that have been cleaned and disinfected and so they're just sitting out to dry and then same with these brushes. So next time I come in, I'll put them away but I wanna make sure they're completely dry. And what I use is this little box that I throw my dirty tools in after each person and then I usually will kind of disinfect a whole bunch at the same time because I have multiple sets so I don't have to you know I don't have to wash and disinfect my tools in between each person I'll just do a whole bunch at one time and this is my favorite disinfectant it's called Let's Touch from Isabel Christina um, it does not rust metal implements which is so nice so I in the past have used a different disinfectant and it totally like rusts my tools and stuff and you have to be so careful about how long you leave them in there but this stuff is great I don't have to worry about stuff like that so this is all clean set to dry ready to go for the next day and the room is all cleaned up now so ready to go for I'll be back in a couple days and I'll have a full day of clients so that is it for today so i'm gonna end the video here now right before i leave everything's clean in my room now so it's time to go to bed i mean go to bed <laughs> it feels like it's time to go to bed because it's dark outside it's time to go home eat some dinner and then chill for the rest of the night so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i personally feel like I don't have enough exciting stuff going on to like film vlogs, but I've had people ask me to film more vlogs. So I thought I would just take you to work with me today and show you a little bit what I do. Hopefully it wasn't too boring. Um, thank you guys for watching and always supporting my channel and I will see you guys next time. Bye.